Welcome to Wonderland Weekly, hosted by Toronto Tie. Now sit back and have a wonderful week. Hey everyone, Toronto Tie back here at Canada's Wonderland once again for another wonderful week. I am really, really excited because word on the street is Lazy Bear Lodge, the uh, outdoor portion of the bar is open. All the fences, well maybe not all the fences, but most of the fences are down. Uh, so we're gonna get a really, really excellent look at uh, all the progress there. But also we have Oktoberfest, and as you can see, some of the uh, some of the decorations are out here are already giving out a very, very October feel <laughs> to things. Uh, always such a great time of year, and uh, yeah, so I am very much looking forward to it. Oh my goodness, I love Vortex, but I wanted to uh, <laughs> point out that, you know, th things back there behind Lazy Bear Lodge, like in the uh, employee delivery area, whatever you want to call it, then uh, yeah, they're, they're not quite <laughs> finished. It still looks like a little bit of a gravel road there, uh, which I imagine will be paved soon. Uh, but we do have grass here. Uh, under Vortex's first drop, which is looking very, very nice. Uh, I'm not quite sure what these things are. Uh, do you... I feel like maybe the park is thinking about putting like some lighting or something here. Maybe it's nothing, no? Uh, <laughs> I'm really not sure. But the other thing that I wanted to point out is Mountain Refresh now has uh, a little bit more definition to uh, its exit pathway. They put in some stones here that uh, uh, yeah, just as a nice curb. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool to see that uh, that being filled in and everything is uh, starting to, uh, to to look really nice again. Yay! Oh my goodness, yes! <laughs> well, no more need for my elevated perch. Uh, yeah, the fences have all been taken down around Lazy Bear Lodge here. Uh, and uh, yeah, it is looking great. Looking very, very nice. I love all these tables out here. Uh, it's a great patio. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, this is, oh man, this is fantastic. Look at it, they're ah, walking here. Uh, and uh, oh, they, they do have a nice sign out here telling people, Lazy Bear Lodge, we're preparing for your future enjoyment. Uh, and they also do have uh, lettering on the, the doors here. Uh, so that, that is a very, very good call. Um, and uh, yeah, giant bear, oh my goodness. Hello there. Hello, so tall. <laughs> As a nice little sneak preview of Lazy Bear Lodge, they do have the bar open. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool here. Uh, I love these like French doors or whatever you want to call them. Uh, that is really, really great and uh, definitely appears to be quite popular. So that is very, very cool. And uh, yeah, you do actually get to stand inside the actual building. And yeah, we're just gonna get a peek in here. The park posted an amazing video just recently uh, showing off some of the things that are uh, hiding out in here, uh, such as like there's a bear over there, and there are, there's a raccoon up there. Oh my goodness! Uh, but my favorite has to be this giant bear here. Uh, I'm, I'm calling this the mama bear. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So yeah, no, it is looking really, really, really fantastic. Uh, and yeah, we are. <laughs> we must be getting very, very close to getting to uh, eat inside here. Oh my goodness, okay, there's that, that one bear that was uh, in the window of the Windseeker shop way back when. Very, very cool to see <laughs> that uh, actually in place now. And oh my goodness, this is just, it's, it's yes. really, really fantastic. Oh my goodness, okay, the bears are so cute. You've got that one up there, you've got one over there, uh, and you've got one right back there, uh, which looks to be a very large bear. <laughs> Uh, perhaps that's the papa bear. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but yes, and uh, yeah, I do. I do like these uh, the garbage cans here. I know that's kind of a weird thing to point out, but they are very different from uh, what the park has uh, everywhere else. Uh, so yeah, that's very very cool, and uh, yeah, just, it's really really exciting. Guests are seriously wasting no time <laughs> discovering Lazy Bear Lodge. 
Uh, yeah, this is uh, really, really fantastic. I've seen a lot of people who uh, who have been like, oh, let's, oh, it's not open. So <laughs> that's good though. Uh, people are excited to uh, head inside and uh, get some food from here. Uh, and they are definitely uh, appreciating the open bar here. Uh, so uh, yeah, no, not open bar, but the bar is open. <laughs> um, yes, and so it, it, you've got this whole patio over here. I'm gonna do it in a uh, slightly different uh, clip here. One second. Okay, I absolutely love the sign here. Uh, other than that E at the end of grill, but that's my own, <laughs> my own little thing. Uh, but yeah, no, fantastic sign. Not quite finished. They don't have the fireplace all set up yet. Still no idea what this awning, uh, yeah, this little overhang is going to be. The mural looks fantastic. I love, absolutely love these, like, picnic tables sort of thing. Uh, they look fantastic and uh, so different from what you see uh, throughout the rest of the park. So that is looking really, really, really nice. I, I, I really like that. It's going to be great for families. Uh, and uh, yeah, over here, then you've got a bunch of different uh, tables uh, with umbrellas. The, the umbrellas are very much appreciated <laughs> on days like today where it is extremely sunny and hot and all that. But and then you do have the balcony, of course, not open at the moment. Uh, but uh, but yeah, no, that is looking really, really great. Uh, definitely enough room for <laughs> for all these tables. Uh, I, I'm, I'm impressed by that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the super, super odd thing to me. I was not expecting there to be grass at the bottom of this staircase. I, I can't go down there today. Um, they have it uh, blocked off with fences, but is, is, is it really just gonna be grass leading from here to there? I, I mean, I don't, I don't know that there will be really a lot of people who uh, are heading in to the lower level uh, directly, but people who are leaving Lazy Bear Lodge, like, I mean, I don't mind walking on grass, but I feel like the grass isn't going to last that long. So, th is this temporary? But this is all like sod. This was all dirt last week. So. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm very confused by that, very... <laughs> I, I find that quite surprising, but uh, yeah, no, it does look very, very nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, my sister kind of joked that, you know, it's like, oh look, we have Fireworks Hill back. And I do appreciate that, uh, even though it's not quite, uh, you know, the full hill. <laughs> Lazy Bear Lodge uh, does a great job of, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> utilizing the space and still leaving uh yeah a lot of space down there for guests to uh potentially watch the fireworks but we will uh you know we'll, we'll see if this stays as just grass or or not i'm i'm baffled by that i absolutely love getting to stand here by yukon strikers emmelman Oh my goodness, this is amazing, and you can sit here around what will be a fire pit, I believe, but uh, is not quite ready by the looks of things. I uh, absolutely love the bare silhouettes, though, and just everything with this. This is looking really, really, really fantastic. Uh, yeah, I, I love this. Oh my goodness, it is so really... I mean, it's 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 so close to the concept art. <laughs> I love it. It's It's beautiful. This is honestly one of the most ridiculous things, but I love that this pathway is open again. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, feeling uh, quite spacious and uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, overall, I mean, it's such a simple thing, but just having that be open again is really, really, really great. And uh, yeah, having all these trees and plants along here. Oh my goodness, I love it. Uh, yeah, you know that I love it. That's, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this is, this is looking really, really, really fantastic. Um, oh my goodness. Ah, so great to get this close again, and oh my goodness. This is just really, really fantastic. But still seems very odd to me that that is just grass. Uh, I feel like that, that must be temporary, but at the same time, like that, that seems like an expensive temporary solution. <laughs> so, yeah, well, we'll see what happens uh, as uh, as the months go on, <laughs> as we approach uh, Winterfest and all that. Because I mean, clearly, clearly, 
the park wants people to be walking across here. I just, I don't know, I feel, yeah. I, ah, it just looks so nice, I'm distracted again. <laughs> was a good one. Uh, <laughs> yes, I absolutely love the interaction between Yukon Striker and Vortex. Uh, and uh, yeah, also love the look of Lazy Bear Lodge from this angle. Uh, yeah, it is a lot of grass though. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, I'm just like surprised. Uh, <laughs> surprised at how green it looks over there. But uh, yeah, no, it does look very, very nice. Very, uh, uh, it feels like it's always been there. Over here, <laughs> next to Gold Rush Junction, uh, as I suspected, uh, the speakers for the uh, for the fireworks have now been removed, uh, and we have orange flags here. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, an orange flag here, and another one all the way over there. Uh, yeah, that is. Uh, oh man, I don't know. I still <laughs> am shocked that the park is able to fit. Tundra Twister <laughs> on this plot of land, but uh, uh, yeah, they've got their markings out. It's, I mean, obviously it's, it's going to fit here. <laughs> Over here at Yukon Strikers uh, drop off of the mid-course break run, then uh, yeah, you can see that there is a flag that's like basically like right under uh, <laughs> this support for the Zero G Winder. Uh, I, I mean, I, I think it's actually further back. Uh, which is a little confusing. Uh, and then, yes, we do have this one up here. Uh, so uh, it is my belief that Thundra Twister will be on a little bit of an angle, possibly matching the, uh, the same angle as uh, Yukon Striker's Zero G Winder. Uh, so uh, yeah, an angle in terms of, uh, you know, an angle with the, uh, with the main pathway here. Um, but uh, yeah, and then there is also uh, not not a fourth flag, but uh, there is paint here on the grass. So I think that that pretty clearly marks out the uh, the amount of space that uh, <laughs> that this is going to uh, that Tundra Twister is going to take up, uh, which is absolutely massive. And I feel like I don't know, but I feel like. Uh, those might be the locations of the actual uh, support beams for it. Uh, it will have four support beams based on the, uh, uh, the rendering and, and the, the concept art. And so I think one of the support beams is actually going to like pass pretty close by this support beam and get kind of close to that one. And that's why those are marked out. Uh, and so yeah, every single one of the, uh, the flags slash uh, orange paint here marks out maybe one of the four corners of the ride. Oh, this thing is massive and it's going to fill this plot of land so well. I absolutely love it. Just had a ton of fun with the Jungle Journey show. Uh, Charlie Brown's Jungle Journey to be specific. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that is, uh, that, that's a really fun show, really energetic. Uh, and uh, yeah, so, and also got to meet Lucy afterward and uh, uh, get a hug from her. So that's, that's always fun. Uh, always, always love seeing, uh, meeting the Peanuts gang. And uh, you know, I, I wish that I got to see Major Mac this year. I, I, I only briefly saw him, but I didn't get to actually interact with him. Um, so yeah, that's a little unfortunate, but you know what? Uh, he's not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, more more importantly, I wanted to mention that um, uh, yeah, the Playhouse Theater definitely, definitely needs a roof. Uh, I've talked about it before in terms of like, you know, just protecting it from the uh, from the rain and the the snow so that it can still run shows during during inclement weather. But uh, the sun. <laughs> the sun is also a problem during some of these uh, late afternoon shows. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, just just something to keep in mind. And, uh, yeah, really just wanted to come over here to uh, get a look at Lazy Bear Lodge from this side with the grass all back here, uh, which, yeah, oh my goodness, it is looking so full and complete and 
very, very nice and still confused why there's no patio whatsoever. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it is, uh, it's, it looks quite nice. We have arrived at Oktoberfest. Absolutely love that the park does this event every single year. Uh, it is uh, always very, very popular. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just really, really love the event. Uh, I think that it's, uh, yeah, it, I mean, you got beer, you got sausages, you got uh, schnitzel, all sorts of German, you know, awesomeness. Uh, <laughs> here and uh, yeah so it is really really great and of course you do have live entertainment as well uh, so yeah very very cool really love the way that the park uses this space uh, and yeah I mean there's honestly like there's not much new so <laughs> don't know what to say other than it's it's good all right everyone it is getting close to the end of the video and you all know what that means it is time for trivia time Yes, and so for this week's trivia time, I want you to let me know in the comments below. Snoopy's Revolution and Peanuts 500, they both opened in 2010 alongside one other ride. What is the name of the other ride that opened in 2010? If you can let me know that in the comments below, I will give you a shout out in my next video. And a huge shout out to SMG, Haunt Maniac, and Stephen Hitchcock, who all correctly stated that the name of Swan Lake when the park first opened was Happy Landing. Yeah, definitely an improvement when <laughs> the park switched it to Swan Lake. But, uh, but yes, so do let me know for next week what uh, what other ride opened back in 2010? Oh my goodness, I absolutely love Lazy Bear Lodge. Uh, <laughs> at least what I've uh, been able to explore so far, which is not much, but it's uh, it's really really coming along. I love it, uh, and I do have a quick update uh, about this. Uh, yeah, the the whole grassy section back here. Uh, apparently, this is uh, the permanent solution, uh, or, or the permanent plan for back here, uh, because this space is uh, basically just going to be used for the fireworks. So, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, I appreciate that the park is uh, concerned about the fireworks, and uh, uh, yeah, it's the, the, the fireworks aren't going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, the fact that they built that into the design here, Really, really, absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, we are, uh, I can't wait. It's, uh, why is it gonna take so long for us to, <laughs> to get another set of fireworks? Uh, <laughs> but no, it's uh, really, really, this is just looking absolutely amazing. And yeah, you do have all the tables and chairs in there that are not quite in place by the looks of things, but uh, <laughs> they are setting things up and uh, yeah. We'll, we'll uh, you know, supposedly be able to get inside uh, next week, which is going to be so much fun. The park just turned on the fireplace out here uh, and in there because uh, it is a double-sided uh, <laughs> fireplace. Very, very cool. Uh, I don't know if this is the first time they've turned it on, but uh, I, I feel like it must be the first time that they've turned it on while guests are able to see it, and I am sitting right here. <laughs> so yes, I am uh, very, very happy to, uh, to get the chance to see that and enjoy the sunset here. Ah, it's fantastic. Well, that'll about do it for this week here at Canada's Wonderland. It was uh, an absolutely amazing day. I am really, really enjoying uh, the patio here uh, next to uh, Lazy Bear Lodge. It is really, really fantastic. Uh, I did enjoy uh, a beer earlier from the Lazy Bear Lodge bar, uh, which was really, really good. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, man, I love these like picnic table sort of things. They're uh, like that, uh, just, they're gonna be so popular with families. I love it. Uh, can't wait for that, uh, can hardly wait for the uh, <laughs> uh, fire pit to be ready and uh, this fireplace out here, but I really, really love the dark. Did open up this whole space. Um, and uh, yeah, the doors are closed here, but you know what, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, oh my goodness, like, yeah, the, the bears, the bears. Oh, the bears. Look at the big mama bear. Ah. 
It's so amazing. Uh, uh, I, it's, it's definitely going to be a great, great photo spot. Uh, everything about this is just like great, fantastic photo spots. Look, look at that mural. That is an extensive mural and like a bench in front. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, no, this is going to be really, really amazing once it opens, uh, which, yeah, we will apparently be like next week. So I am very much looking forward to that. Uh, next week is the uh, American Coaster Enthusiast event, uh, Roller Coasters A. Eh? So uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if there will be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if we have time to uh, actually go inside Lazy Bear Lodge, but I imagine that it'll be sort of included in the event. Um, but oh my goodness, we'll, we'll see what happens. That's going to be a full day. Full. <laughs> uh, so yes, very much looking forward to that. Uh, and just overall, oh my goodness, Oktoberfest. Uh, I did enjoy a couple meals from there. Uh, and uh, yes, if if you uh, come to the park uh, almost as frequently as I do, um, then it is worth noting that uh, I believe online you can purchase online only. If you come to the park, then they will not <laughs> they will not let you buy it. But if you go online, then you can buy a 2022 dining plan to add on to your uh, 2023 season pass. So uh, yeah, do keep that in mind. Uh, if, if you do come to the park frequently, uh, it might be the right call for you. But uh, yeah, no, so I did get that. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I will be I will be enjoying my dining plan for the rest of this year, which is a load off my mind and uh, yeah, not a load out of my wallet. That's <laughs> okay, it was a one-time lump payment, but still, it is still uh, yeah, a, a huge, huge, tremendous value to me. So I am uh, yeah, very thankful for that. So keep that in mind and if, uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know, I, I, if, if you have any questions that you want me to ask at the, uh, uh, the Q&A with Peter Schmitzer next week, then uh, do send those in the comments below uh, and I will do my best to uh, remember to ask them. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, so that is uh, going to be a lot of fun. I am so very, very excited to, uh, uh, yeah, to get the opportunity to do some of those uh, tours, including a top of the mountain tour and all that sort of stuff. It is going to be an amazing full, full week, full day, uh, but really it's enough for a whole week. Uh, <laughs> so yes, we will see uh, <laughs> what happens then, but uh, until next time, as always, have a good one! Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment with anything you'd like me to cover in the future, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on Patreon so that I can visit more parks and create more wonderful videos.